Southern New Mexico is world renowned for its charm, its beauty, and its rich cultural history. Sitting atop of the Enchanted Circle is the mining turned ski town of Red River. In addition to the top notch winter fun and fishing, Red River offers something unique and fun for just about everyone. Travel and lifestyle editor and writer Debbie Stone is with us this morning. This is one of my favorite, <laughs> favorite towns in New Mexico. I love Red River. I grew up when I was a little boy going up and fishing with my parents in Red River. So, for those that have never been to Red River, first of all, you got to change that. Let's talk a little bit about where it's located okay. and a bit of the history on Red River. Okay. On top of the Enchanted Circle, north mm -hmm. of Taos, about 160 miles from Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. Great mining town, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. with a very colorful history. 1890s, it was kind of the epicenter. Gold, copper, silver mines, several thousand people. But then the mines played out, right. as they do. And uh, thank goodness there were some hardy homesteaders uh, remaining right. because they kept the town going. And then in the uh, late 20s, early 30s, it uh, started to become known as an adventure playground. Mm -hmm. And that's really what it is. Yeah, absolutely. People make it, you know, a great weekend vacation. They get away. So what makes it like such an ideal playground? Winter, summer, there's stuff all year it's four round. Four seasons. But in the winter, it's just charming. It's mm -hmm. that quintessential charming mountain town that looks like you've stepped onto the set of a, a Western movie. Right. And it's wonderful. It's family friendly, very affordable. It's casual, laid back, very convenient and accessible. You can walk everywhere in that mm -hmm. town. And they, they always say, you know, you can be eating breakfast in town and 10 minutes later be on the slope skiing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and, it's, and it's beautiful. I mean, the scenic, oh. the slopes just completely envelop Main Street, and it, it's, it's really breathtaking. It's very dramatic. And, yeah. And well, so, of course, place. speaking of, of skiing, let's talk about the Alpine Ski Area. Skiing okay. huge up there. Yes, great ski area, about 660 acres. I think mm -hmm. there's 57 runs, three terrain parks, youth programs, ski schools, child care. At 4 o'clock when the ski area closes, you can tube down the lower part. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got some great special events. Every Saturday night, it's a torchlight parade and fireworks down the mountain. Mm -hmm. And my favorite is the Snow Coach dinner tour experience, okay. which is very cool. You board the snow coach, go up for a, a dinner at the Tip Top Cafe, and then mm -hmm. as you come down, you can see the lights twinkling in the town. It's, wow. it's just really charming. Yeah. Very, very charming. Yeah, absolutely. But a great, great uh, ski place and, and short lift lines. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, it's also got something, if we're more into cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, the, uh, the Enchanted Forest, right? Absolutely. Three miles outside of town, I think there's about 30 plus uh, kilometers of trails, 15 uh, snowshoe and oh my favorite five kilometers of uh, trails where you can go skiing with your dog which I think is really right. really cool yeah and what they're trying to do there now is called glamping I don't know if you heard glamping no glamorous camping glamorous camping in yurts now, I, I did hear yurts the other day. We were talking with New Mexico <laughs> True, Monique Jacobs, and she introduced me to this phrase. So yes. talk a little bit more about so this. So glamping, you know, you, you think of it as being glamorous camping, so you're not, you know, sleeping in a tent on the floor, mm -hmm. but you're in a yurt, and it's a fully equipped yurt. You bring your food, I think your sleeping bags, and uh, you can take a sled up there, or there'll snowmobile up the, the equipment, and you can spend the night up there. And it's it's just really, it's just a great little extra special thing yeah. that they do there. It's just yeah. really wonderful. That so. sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, if you you know you know I want to learn snowboarding skiing, but I'm not a snowboarder or skier. Right. But there's still, like I said, tons of stuff to do up there, even if you don't hit the slopes. Oh, snowmobiling, ice fishing. Mm -hmm. The town's cute. It's got some eclectic shops, and of course, my favorite, which would be to eat. Mm -hmm. So lots of little cute restaurants, and then they've got a great live music scene. Yeah, they sure do. I think they there's really like do. seven menu venues, and and on a Friday or Saturday night, you can be walking down Main Street and hear music, uh, bluegrass, country, rock, reggae, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And coming up, I just want to put a plug in for this, is their Mardi Gras in the mountains. Mm -hmm. I think it's at the end of February into early March, and the town goes wild with, uh, you know, the, the Cajun and the Zydeco and the yeah. parades and the beads and the, and the yeah. costumes and the whole thing. So, so all sorts of great stuff. Fabulous. Well, Red River, it really is such a beautiful place, folks. If you haven't gone, you got to go. You can head over to our website at krqb.com. Click on the CASA tab for more information about Red River. Debbie, always such a pleasure to see you. Thanks. Thanks for We're having me. We're always talking about cool stuff in New Mexico, one of my favorite it things. It is.